Hey there. So, you clicked on my video. Uh, I want to take a second, real quick, tell you about my new book that's coming out, 522. Um, it is the Advanced Roblox Coding Book. It is the same book that I released the first time, except it's got updated things to it. Now, here's a little bit of a problem, and I wanted to address this, make it public, let you guys know. Uh, there's a little thing in here where you go and make a pet, which is actually a little spaceship that follows you around. Body movers. They are being used uh, to, to create the pet itself. That is being deprecated. Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Promet, and welcome back to the Stanley Project. What time is it? Click. <coughs> Does anyone ever truly know? Oh, and by the way, yesterday it had a whole bunch of little sliders and stuff for me to play with, like make the cut and the dog friends, and uh, how how accurate is the time? What's your favorite time? Like, it was so cute. And does anyone truly know? Of course they don't. Nobody knows anything. You and I don't even know each other. We're like strangers. Sure, I'd adjust all the game settings to your exact specification, but who hasn't? Uh, it's just what I do, like a day job. And now, the job is over. There's no more information for me to gather. I've collected all the data on you that I can, and I still don't really know you. And you don't know me. And either of us, either of us know what time it is. And neither of us know what time it is. That's kind of funny. That's how a YouTuber works. I guess some settings are just unsettable. But if I'm being totally honest, the clock doesn't do anything in the game anyway. You won't have me here when the game starts next time, but that's okay. Video games are meant to be played on uh, played alone. You like being alone, don't you? Creepy. That uh, may be the only information I really learned about you. Well, it's time for me to leave. There's still one more setting that we need to adjust, but it may take a little time before I'm ready for that. It's not really in my job description, but that's okay. Perhaps you'll see me again if you can find me. Talk soon. Okay, that's kind of creepy. So does that mean there's a setting inside the game somewhere that I need to go find? Is there an ending where we go and set something? Oh. Settings, audio, video, controls. Is it any of that stuff? No? I think I turned on the subtitles last time. So, subtitles are on. Good. Player data. Reset settings. Delete save data. Oh! Well, I don't want to delete it because, I mean, I only didn't do the recording the one time. And there's been tons of people who have played this. So I don't really understand why you're here watching me. But since you're here, thank you. I really do This is the story of a man named Stan. Yes, it is Stanley. Skip it. <coughs> okay, so I'm just going to do the, the things that I did yesterday. And the first one All was this a glitch. All were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. Um, the other thing is I looked up the nuke ending and there is absolutely nothing that can happen with the nuke ending. It's just, that's when it. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he Into entered the, the door, door on his left. left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling oh, a wave I forgot of disbelief, about something. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. So, y'all remember the uh, broom closet? Right? Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Okay, maybe, maybe there was I do nothing have to here. Turn. No choice okay, to make, I'm going to pause it and get follow. through this Just part, an empty but broom closet. this is actually no an ending. To still be here. You, you know, the, the part where he's like, oh, it was my favorite ending, the broom closet ending. Well, that's an actual it ending. Baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He insults you, he insults you, insults you, and then finally he gives up. You leave, come back in, with, and he's like, oh, not you too. Way. And then... He's when you come back a second time, it's like, no, 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 not this again. I'm, I'm just going to be patient. And then you leave, and you, like, if you try and come back in a third game time, are it you, will put. Are you really still in the broom closet? It will put boards over the nothing? door. 
Why? So I'm going to pause. Please offer Sorry. me some. It didn't even occur to me so, because literally. Okay, so if I'm hearing this right, there should be a sound. Like, I don't think anybody's Maybe noticed you, this. This is somehow its own <sighs> brunch. Hold on. Oh, oh, did, did you, you get, get the broom closet, closet ending? The, the broom, broom closet, closet ending, ending was my favorite. favorite. I hope your friends find this concerning. All right. Okay, the sound inside the light bulb. I swear I can hear a modem. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He Maybe it's just me, the job but I'll, of a family I'll show you connection. here in a second. That's okay, I think it's done, but that means he's silent. So, listen listen really carefully. I'll point when I, when I think I hear the modem sound, and you tell me if I'm crazy. Seriously, do you, are you hearing it? Like, you might have to put on headphones and, like, turn it up, but I swear I can hear a modem in there. Okay, so, let's leave. Ah, he insults us. It's good to have you on. Okay, and now we head back in. You, too? Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Okay, that was the, the final dialogue. So, we can leave that room, and we're going to head up to our boss's Coming office. Coming to a staircase... Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Come on, come on. I, f I actually saw this on TikTok, by the way. On Tiki Tok. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again Wait, stunned to change? discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, what? unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra Special secret piece. pin number. Oh, extra secret. 2845. But of course, yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Now, I think there is... There is some kind of secret over here. I can't see it. So, I don't know if I'm going in the right direction or not. Oh, oh. Yeah, it doesn't let me walk any further and I don't have any kind of light, so... I think... We'll, we'll have to just wait on that one. I'll have to come back to it. And I do apologize. I didn't realize this is actually a psych psychological horror game. <laughs> Descending deeper into the building. So, Stanley if you're of the younger age, be warned. Peculiar. Probably should have said it that in the first It was a stirring one. of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself. What's in that room? To question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered and for long. Sparks. Uh, I did question what that yellow box was Stanley on walked straight ahead through the There's large the door that read Mind what Control going? Facility. Okay. So we're going to go to the Mind Control Facility. And I found this out through uh, TikTok. I think I said that, didn't I? I said it was on TikTok. But... Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the, the lights rose on. Don't. On an enormous room packed with television screens. The first what time I did. What horrible secret did this place hold? The first time that he thought to himself, did he have the strength to find out? The first time that I did this, I didn't realize that uh, you could turn the lights on first. So turn on the cameras. Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. There we go. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, on. one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Okay, so this right here should open back up. I don't remember when or how or if it does it. But standing here forever, like if I don't hit that button, those doors should open back up. So, I'm going to pause it until they do. Oh, and I noticed a broken thing from last time, just under 233. So, do I hear crickets? There's crickets in the background. I've never actually read this before. 
Employee observation protocol to see if composite composant Com oh if despite adherence to protocol 2a and protocol 2b an employee leaves uh, the office during work hours and a system loop has failed you must terminate 2d please note that the employee 432 is a test case while the need for protocol 2a may seem unlikely process no procedure 2a and 2c need to apply in the event that 432 attempting to leave the office contact supervisor the office contact supervisor and then contact to 432 prize protocol 3a if a monitoring screen fails to Initialize contact maintenance and temporarily switch control over to desk screen. Uh, in the case of a class 4 event, close system gates and consult with supervisor. Is the, the gate open yet? It's not. Uh, in a case of class 4 event. Okay, and then 4B. In the case of a class 3 event, close system gates and consult with supervisor. Prime your consoles for info dump have no clue what that means but oh more protocols to see okay that's the same one that's the same sheet data points for something for one 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 two eight zero zero one 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 two eight zero zero one 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 Two eight zero zero. I don't know if I need to memorize that. Employee observation protocol. Employee observation protocol. Is the gate open yet? The gate's still not open. That is crazy. Okay, maybe I need to hit that last button and then it opens up. Maybe. Let's go see. This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe it couldn't go, be true. Let's go. Let's Had go. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? Let's go. That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Okay. Come on. These gates opened up last time. It, it let me back through. Maybe I, I'll have to reset. I might just have to reset. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll reset. Because these, these are not opening back up. That is, that's crazy. Okay, hold on. Actually, here, you can see this part. So let's go back to the beginning again. There we go. Okay, off we go. On the way oh, the, the broom closet. Stanley decides. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Not again! <laughs> I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. <laughs> I swear I hear modem. That's crazy. All of his co-workers okay. were gone. What could it mean? I, I just Stanley reset it again because I want you to see the broom. Room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. Let's go. And so far, when I think Stanley I've only gone... A set of two open doors, I think I've only gone the left, door on his or left. I've only gone right, like one time. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> nice. Stepping right. into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, yet incredibly, by simply pushing <laughs> random buttons on the keypad, right. Stanley a sheer line. Oh, amazing. amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. 
There we go. And we're back at the bottom. Sparks, sparks. And Stanley walks we still need to take through the escape, large door, but the red it's not happening in this episode. Facility. I got two others that I want to want to show you first. So this right here, if you step up like this, yay! <laughs> You've made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. Welcome! You see, back when the Stanley Parable first launched in 2013, getting to the bottom of the mind control facility was a bug that we simply didn't catch during development. And you all sent us lots of photos of it on Twitter and acted very superior about it. And you're all very, very clever. Good for you. Anyway, when it came time to update the game, we knew that we had to do something about this little goof of ours, so... Here you go. New content. You can call it the bottom, bottom of, of the, the mind, mind control, control room ending. ending, if that enhances your perception of the value of these updates. Isn't that what you crave? New content? Always more content, more content, more, 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 more. <laughs> and I'm here to give it to you. I'm here to make it seem like we really covered every nook and cranny of the game with secrets and Easter eggs. Yes, you did. How about this? We wrote a new piece of music just for this section. You won't hear it anywhere else in the game. It's a secret that's just for you. That's how special you are. We call this track, Good Job You've Made It to the Bottom of the <coughs> Mind Control Facility. Well done. I'm going to let you guys hear it. Good job. You did it. Good job. Good job, you made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. You jumped on the catwalk. You should have been careful. You should have been careful. <laughs> it used to be a bug, but and now it's an ending. ending. Now it's an ending. But I believe in you. I believe in your ability to cross this barrier and chase your dreams. But railings don't mean anything. Good job, you did it. 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 It's gonna be stuck in my head. Tomorrow I'm gonna be at work thinking. You did it. Man. Good job, you did it. Good job, you did it. Good job, you did it. Every project I get done from now on, that's that's like my theme song. That is that is my theme. <laughs> Good job, you did it. Good job, you did it. Okay, there's another ending that I wanted to show you in this particular one. All of his co-workers called were gone. Heaven. What could it mean? All right, let's Stanley turn that off and to go to the break room. that guy's Perhaps work. He had simply missed a memo. <laughs> I hope you ex saved your excels. So this one, I actually watched Jack Septicai do. So you, you go to these little input thingies and you do uh, begin the game again. <laughs> And then you gotta run to this one. Stanley over. was alone. Finally, this is great. This, this one he thought to this himself. One? This is what I've wanted all along. Uh -oh. I got what I wanted. Uh oh. Where's the in? Oh, there it is. Input number two, and then begin the game again. And then if number three, the meeting room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room, and from then on, he would never be alone ever again. Okay. If I remember right, this last one. This last one takes a second to get... Oh, what is this? Username access. Oh, broke that. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to pause it because I have to go all the way up to the boss's secretary's desk. His boss's <laughs> office, hoping he might find an answer. All right, nearly there. Nearly there. There we go. And input. There we go. Uh, getting the game again. Oh wait. Okay. Whew. Thought I How almost missed wonderful! It. Stanley was alone. There we go. Finally. And begin the game again. And I think the last one is in the computer itself. Yep. There we go. Boop. There we go. Yay! Welcome to heaven, Stanley.
By the way, there's no way to push all the buttons I've tried. Um, and I also counted all of them all the way around. I found a double pattern like this, this double light pattern. And then we counted all the way around because there's no other double light blue pattern like that. And I counted one, two, three, four. Okay, there's 76, I think, or 72. Anyhow, that times the, the amount of uh, rows there are. And it came up with... Uh, 423. There were 423 buttons for some reason. Anyhow, uh, sorry if that was a little bit loud. I was counting all the buttons and then I was actually explaining. So I, I don't know if the background noise was too loud for that one. Anyhow, begin the game again. There's another ending that I want to show you and it's up in the boss's office. You can only get into it after starting the game or after. What was that? Hold up, what? What? I didn't know Stanley was married. Oh, I guess he is married because we saw the ending where he was flying, floating, and it was the insanity ending. Okay, okay. Number one dad. I thought it said I dad. <laughs> I dad. <laughs> okay. Why is the narrator not talking? Why is the narrator not talking? When Stanley came okay. to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. Yet there was not a single person here either. Yeah. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, so apparently you can't open up this bathroom unless you've done this three times. Money in the morning, money in the evening, money for breakfast, money crisp. And I said this wrong last time. No, I said extreme bathrooms. I think somebody said extra bathrooms. What is that? It looks like the start of a car crash or something. Okay, so that's not the ending I wanted to show you. I want to show you to the right over here. Boop. And there's like... No! <laughs> Business strategy. Horrible. And then, um, La I am the most expensive boss. And then we look around over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I hit the button. It opens. And then we get in. I press the button again. And I'm going to silence it so you can hear the music. Here we go. So, here's the thing. What did he say?
See, I don't know if there's ever an end to this actual song. So, we're gonna click the button. It ends. Oh, and I've also looked at these. I can't tell what they are. Um, a short history of the something. And then there's, yeah, I just can't read them. But anyhow, that is an ending. It's called like the elevator ending or something like that. But if you hit it again, it just stops and opens right back up into the same thing. So. Huh. I wonder what happens if I do this. Oh, I can't I can't get out. I can't get out. No. So it stops me before it starts. Like there's a barrier I can't get out. I was trying to hit the button and run out the door. But that doesn't actually work, so. Ooh, that was interesting. Huh. Anyhow, that's an ending. Um, let's see. The moment he entered his manager's office, Stanley froze in his tracks. Oh, this is different. Not a living soul anywhere. Could he really be all alone? This was too much for Stanley to take. Too much for any man to take. He fell to his knees, bursting into half moans, half sobs, the guttural retching of life from a man denied any hope, any reason to keep going. Here on the floor, he lay prone, paralyzed by fear for nearly a full hour. But when at last he began to move about and survey the situation, he found a keypad behind the boss's desk. Oh. What could it mean? Was it a sign of hope for Stanley's future? What this? Alas, it was not. For although this keypad guarded the terrible secret of Stanley's past, it had been assigned a four-digit code so devious and so random that no man could ever hope to guess it. 2845. Statistically, yet incredibly, <laughs> by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. I just want to see. I just, just want to see if there's anything after I've pressed the buttons. Can I? Yeah, there's, there's nothing. There's nothing. I tried, like, figuring out why there would be, like, a secret elevator and stuff like that. What's up there, I wonder? Whoa, wait, what was that? Was I climbing? No, I was not. Perception is everything. Alright, here we go. We're gonna go down. I'm gonna go take the, uh, take the quit escape route and see, see what's over there. Okay, there we go. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. No, I didn't. I followed Escape. Although this passageway had the word Escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Okay. <laughs> the door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Okay. It's it's warning me. It's telling me like, "Hey, death ahead." Okay, fine.
As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his Poor demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. No! Fair I... call, Stanley. No! <laughs> no! Okay. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. What? Uh oh. What? The Stanley Parable. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? What? How big is this room? Can I go on this side? Is there anything past this wall? I guess not. Okay, fine. Fine. I'll go straight to the door that's so obvious. When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Stanley's computer. 